guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today i'm doing an introduction for my second project pan project i'm going to be doing a finished five by fall project i found this project through Paige at thrifty beauty i'll link her down below and then i'll also go through a couple of other people that i've seen come out with this video after and i'll link everybody that i can find down below i believe it was part of a larger collaboration that started but it seemed like such a good project, it's got good timing, there's only five products, so I really think that I could finish five products by fall. And for me, I'm gonna limit that time to around October, so sometime in October, this project will end. As this is just the introduction video, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys which five products I chose and why I chose them. So before we jump into that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like Project Pans, and if you wanna see any more, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video, and let's jump in. First of all, if you missed my last Project Pan and the conclusion for that, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards right up here. It was the hashtag Drop 10 by Summer Project Pan, and that was my first ever Project Pan. I think it was kind of a lot of products to take on at once but I wasn't going in with the intention to finish everything I just really wanted to start panning get introduced to the community get introduced to the concept and just actually try to do it <laughs> I learned a whole lot from that pan and I brought what I learned into my choices for this project so if you guys missed that finale video make sure you check that out before you jump into this one so like the title says this is drop five by fall so it's going to be five products that I'm gonna hopefully entirely use up by October by the middle of October by October so my first item for this project pan is another foundation this is going to be the peach perfect matte foundation from Too Faced this is one of my all-time favorite foundations. I've used it, I can pretty much say it's right here. So it's all the way down to here, but I know since this is a tube, there's a whole lot of product in here. So I really wanna use it until I can't squirt out any more foundation, and then I'm actually gonna cut it open and use the entirety of the tube. I think this is such good packaging, because you can really get everything out. You can recycle this when you're done with it. I just. I think it's really good packaging for a foundation and I wish more foundations came out with packaging like this. It's got the tube. It does get a little messy but I do try to clean out the cap and the actual applicator every now and then. I have the shade Warm Nude. This is way too dark for me. I bought this last summer when I actually tan. I actually went outside last summer believe it or not. So I tanned last summer. This was my perfect shade back then. I can no longer use this by itself. I do mix it with my white mixer from LA Girl and I love oh, I love mixing foundations because you really you can just you know personalize any foundation to your shade and I, I just love it. So I do need to mix it to use it right now but I love this foundation. It's matte. It just I'm wearing it today. It feels super comfortable. It really is a comfort matte foundation. It doesn't break down throughout the day. It is medium coverage. I love it. And that's why I need to pan it. Because I didn't, like I stopped using this foundation a while ago because I was afraid of running out of it because I loved it so much. I shouldn't be afraid to finish stuff. I should want to get my money's at worth out of this. And if I love it that much when I'm done, I could always get another one. So I just, I need to finish this one. The next product is a bit of a duplicate. This is another MAC paint pot in Soft Ochre. Spoiler alert for my last project pan, I was able to finish a whole paint pot and that was in Painterly. This one I bought around the same time and I want to finish this one up as well. This is where I am at currently. I have about half of the paint pot left in here. I've noticed that this paint pot, it's, it's a little bit older than the painterly one that I had. It started to get a little bit dry, so I added just a little bit of oil to it to soften it up, make it a little bit easier to apply. But since I know it's getting old, I really do want to finish it up. And then also, if I finish it up, I can back to MAC it. The next product is a face powder from ColourPop. If you missed my review on all of the new ColourPop base products, I'll throw that up at the cards as well. This is the only thing I thought was worth it. I almost went back and edited that video because not long after I posted that video, I hit pan on the powder. Normally I'm happy to hit pan on a powder, but I've had this for only a month. 
a month of use and I hit pan. This, I looked up the actual amount of product in this powder. It's less than half of what you would get in a Rimmel Stay Matte powder. It's only like, it's only 5.5 grams of product in here. So even though it's affordable, even though it's, it's a passable good powder, I can't say I recommend it. Like I do kind of want to go back and mention on that video that it doesn't last you that long. A month of use and I hit pan. So at this point, I really just want to use it up. It's a good powder, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm not a huge fan of the complexion products from ColourPop, but this is the only one that I think is worth your while. If that, like I think the price of this plus the price of shipping, I don't think it's worth it anymore just because you go through it so quickly. So here's a close up on the pan in here. I really think that I could probably finish this up way before my deadline in October. The next product that I want to pan is a highlighter. I know, ambitious. This is a highlighter from Fenty Beauty that I already have pan on. This is her Duo Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I've already hit dust, hit dust. <laughs> I've already hit pan on Lightning Dust, which is the more subtle side of this duo. Fire Crystal is also a really good highlight. It's just blinding, so it's not like an everyday use highlight. I absolutely fell in love with Lightning Dust and I put it back into my drawer once I hit pan. Pretty sure this is the first highlighter I ever hit pan on, ever. And I think I can use this up. Here's a close up on the pan that I have in there currently. My goal is only gonna be to use up this half. I don't think I could finish this half by October. My last product for this project is going to be a tinted lip balm since I've learned the hard way how bad it is to try and pan a lipstick that you're not gonna be reaching for. I'm gonna try a I'm gonna try and pan a lip balm. This is from Fresh. This is the Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment with SPF 15. So it's just a tinted lip balm. So it does show up a little bit red on your lips, but I think this is going to be good for me to use for the remainder of the summer going into the winter. This is... This is where I am at currently with it pushed all the way up. I've only used this a couple of times, so this is almost the entire product. So those are my five products, all my little panning drawer right here. I'm really excited for this project and I really think that's because I'm so much better informed from my last project going into this project. So I'm really excited to do this. I'll be coming out once again with updates once a month on the project until October. Thank you so much for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to catch the rest of the updates for this project pan and for the rest of my videos. I do post every Monday through Friday and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.